Good morning, welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. We're really excited to show you the new baby. So Saturday evening at, oh golly, we, we came in from dinner with friends and Gracie decided that she'd had her puppies and I walked right by her and didn't even pay attention. All of a sudden I looked over and I said, oh my golly, there's puppies. So she started approximately, I would say 8.30 or so and had four when we got home. And I was so tired about 11.30, I thought, oh Gracie, hurry up and get done. And I looked over at Buffy and this little puppy was laying behind her by her tail. And I thought, what is that? I thought, oh crap, it's a puppy. So Buffy started and we finished with Buffy's at 3.30 in the morning on Saturday. So, oh my golly. And I haven't really, I know you want to suck your brother's arm, but that's not a nipple. Um, we have not done anything with them because with 10 babies, and especially with a couple of these really tiny ones, I was scared to death to do anything with them until we saw how Buffy was gonna do, because this is her first litter, and if we were gonna have anybody that didn't make it. So we're a lot safer now. Everybody's doing great. I'm gonna give you some weights as I go, because you'll be amazed. There's every size in here. This is the biggest one in the litter, I think. Um, and unless I screwed up, we have six girls, and we have four boys. The black one, designates from there over this is the boys from here over are the girls and we'll double check them when I go through so Vanessa and I when this video is done we're gonna take their dew claws off we're gonna microchip them and we're gonna do their tails so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on one end and just work my way down and it may get into a hodgepodge of little worm wigglers in here once I wake them all up so um, so we're in here in the kitchen where it's quiet, so hopefully that'll help. Um, all right, so let's get started. Like I said, I have no microchips. I am not putting individual photos of these puppies on until probably next week. So those of you that want a puppy, you can contact me to get on her waiting list. But until then, just please hold still. Um, I'm not doing anybody picking puppies until we get a full week under their belt and I know that she doesn't lay on them. I'm not worried about any of these big ones. I'm worried about this little tiny one getting laid on. Uh, she's been holding her own, but she's got a ton of brothers and sisters to hold her own on. All right, so the first puppy in here is a female, and this is a chocolate Merle. It's really hard to see her Merlings, but she's got nice little tiny spots on her. She'll always have those spots, and they may get a little bolder as she ages. She is absolutely gonna have a brown nose, Will she have blue eyes? Who knows at this point. Um, we don't get them very often, but we could. She's got white on these back toes. And I have a feeling we have not messed with them much. I can't tell you what her belly looks like. Yep, she's got a big white spot on her chest. There, she's spread out. She's got a white chin. And for those of you that have never watched my videos, and those of you have, you're gonna be tired of me telling you this. Their little eyeballs will, be, will not open until about 12 to 15 days old. And this is probably a good one to show you the ear. Their ears are absolutely sealed shut. They will open up the same time their eyes do. Until then, they also cannot control their body temperature. Um, they will freeze and get in a pile if they're too cold. So that's why mom lays with them so much when they're little teeny tiny. They're also gonna get their toenails trimmed today. These guys, let me turn this foot over and you can see how sharp these are. These little toenails look like talons. They are so sharp, and on mom's little belly nursing, it makes her belly so sore. We're gonna dock these tails about this long. I don't like them cut off at their butt. Uh, you can actually cause them problems um, if you get them right at their rear end. So we usually leave a nice little, probably a half inch right now, um, maybe a little bit longer than a half inch, and then it'll grow on out as it gets older. All right, so let me turn my scale back on. So, it'll go a little faster since we've done eyes and ears. All right, the first puppy in here, oh, that's cold, I know. Six pounds, oh yeah. <laughs> 6.4 ounces is this little chocolate Merle female. All right, the next little female is my little teeny weenie. She is the cutest little pistol. Uh, she looks like a little black and white Holstein cow. She's got great coloring. She goes, where is the nipple? I'm ready. So I'm hunting. I feel skin. Oh, okay guys, you gotta lay still. Too many of you to go wild with. Uh, she will have a white belly and all parties usually have a white belly. And she's gonna have a little tiny, I'm gonna leave a little bit of white on the end of that tail so she's gonna have a black tail with a white tip. She's got really pretty markings on her face. I know, you went back down. Let me weigh it real quick. She's five ounces right on the button. 
All right, let me stick you back in here. All right, so the next one in here is another little black Holstein cow. And this is absolutely a female. She's got really nice markings. She's gonna have a black nose. I know you guys are gonna climb all over each other. I gotta keep track of who I've done. She's gonna have a black nose. And so will the little black and white party. Um, the only ones in here that will have a brown nose is if they're chocolate. Everybody else will have a uh, brown nose and they will have normal colored black eyes. The Merles are the only ones that have the possibility of blue eyes. But when you see me take their weekly photos, you will see their eyes look blue at some point and that's from the flash. So you guys are just stirring up all over the place down here. This is a really flashy little blue Merle female. She's got lots of color. She's got nice big black leg down the back. She's got almost an all black foot in the back. She's got front dew claws. The dew claw, I guess we could explain that. Let's wait till we get to a white one. Uh, the dew claws uh, are only in the front on these puppies so far. Let me double check. Yep, you're a female. You've got girl plumbing. So there's a picture of her face, and Vanessa can zoom in really close. So it'll be fun for you to keep track of their weights as they go. Did I weigh this one? I didn't, did I? You know what? Hold on. We're going to weigh this great big one. I forgot. So this one is 7 ounces. Oh, 7.2 right on the button. All right, all right, all right. You guys down here are just not cooperating. All right, so this little Merle female is 5 pounds, 4 ounces. Oh, wow, that's wild. All right, come here. You got to at least stay in some kind of an order here because nobody's microchipped. All right, this is the big blue, uh, big female. She's got black on her face. She's got our normal domino dot on the head. Her little nose is pink, but it will turn black. And she's got a domino dot on her butt. She's also got some what they call ticking coming in here. There's these little black spots are showing up. She looks like she's going to have them a lot of places. I see dot, 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 dot. Um, so she's going to have some ticking. I love the ticking. You snuck out of order. No, 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 no. I can't do that. You got to stay there. You're next. Um, ticking is something we don't get a whole lot, but what ticking will mean was she gets bigger. These dots will show up a little bit more, or if you ever shave her down. She's got, actually there's a couple black hairs in those dots. So she's definitely gonna have some, a little bit of ticking on her body. All right, let's see what she weighs. I think she's the biggest in the litter. Oh yeah, she's nine ounces right on the button. Okay, so the last female in here, everybody else stayed where you were supposed to somewhat. This is a chocolate Merle female. She has really nice coloring. She's got Merling on her tail. She's got Merling down her, her face on both sides up here, if I can turn her around. She's definitely going to have a brown nose. She's got big white spot on her. Oh, she says, I don't want to bend my neck. Come here. She's got big white spot on her chest, white all the way up her chin under the bottom, and she's got a white goatee. That will always be there. You're going to roll up in a little ball. And she's got white toes on the back. Uh, if I can turn around so you can see how she won't hold still. Let me turn her up this way. There we go. Got some white toes just on the back. Front doesn't have white toes. Are you sleeping again? She says, just hold me. I just want to go back to sleep. She would curl up here and sleep all day if I'd let her. She says, I just want to be warm and go to sleep. Seven ounces right on the nose. I can't believe how many of these are exactly. You want to pile in the pile? Go ahead. All right, let's do the boys. So the first boy that I told you about was a black. So this is him. Um, he's got a little bit of white on his chest, a couple little weird spots, white and a white and a white on his neck. He's got a little bit of light white goatee going on. Uh, a little behind bit of white on the back toes. Nice and shiny and healthy. I know you guys are just creeping closer and closer to my edge of my counter. Six pounds, oh geez, seven ounces. Nope, he switched back. He moved. All right. No, you're not coming out. All right. He has 6.8 ounces. I can't get pounds out of my brain. All right. This one is a party Merle. This is a chocolate party Merle. And the Merling is tough to see, but he's got Merle spots in here. And he's got Merle spots on his ear. So this one's a little chocolate Merle. He's got the domino spot. Going to have a chocolate nose. He's got a tiny little head. All right, I told you I'd show you dew claws. So this is a dew claw. It's this odd toe. Now you have to lay down to do this, maybe, buddy. It's this odd toe up here on the out inside of the foot. 
This is what we take off. Um, this is awful to groom around. The only purpose for this toe is when a dog breeds another dog, they jump up and they hold on and that holds them on. It's like their thumb. Uh, it's the only thing it's used for. And in grooming, you'll catch it with a pair of clippers. Uh, they'll catch it when they're playing and when they rip it off, they bleed like crazy. And this one's got really super long nails too. I don't know if you can see those against that white material or not, but those are really long. So we're gonna cut toenails off. Mom will appreciate it. You guys are still smooching in here. Let me see what he weighs. He's little. Uh, not that little, 6.8 ounces. So I'm shocked. He looked littler than that to me. All right, you're getting too far away from me, so you come over here. This puppy looks black. This is not a black puppy. Don't ask me what color it's gonna turn yet. I can't tell you, but let me look under the hair. He's got a different color cast to his coat. It looks like he's got a brown cast, but he's got a black nose, so he's not gonna be black. If I had to guess, and we'll know in about a week or two, I'd say it's gonna turn buff under here, but I won't know for about a week or two until he starts to grow a little bit. He's nice and fat. He actually has been on Gracie. <clears throat> we took him away from Buffy and we gave him to Gracie because she had so many and there was that one little one I was worried about. This one was big enough. I did not want him shoving some of the little ones out. So Gracie has been nursing him until today. And today we're gonna put him back with the litter and he'll go back in with his mom. So he'll be in all the videos whenever we take the videos. Uh, and he's light colored under his tail, so I know he's gonna turn. He may even turn silver, but he is absolutely not a black. In fact, let me compare. I don't know if we can tell yet on the videos. So the black puppy is in this hand and the off colored puppy is in this hand that I think is gonna turn silver, but they're definitely different colors. All right, let me see what he weighs because he's a nice big fat baby. All right, let's see. Not, not as big as the white when he's eight ounces right on the button. Are you guys gonna pile? See, they're getting cold, they're gonna pile. All right, so this is the last one. This is a, uh, it's a boy. He's a black and white party. He's got black all the way around the cap of his forehead. He's got one black eye and one kind of black eye. Ah, I hear you. Two spots on his back. Other than that, this little booger is all white. That's Roy, he says, oh my goodness. All white belly and just doing really good. Now he's gonna be a close second on maybe big. Let's see what you weigh. Eight pounds, four ounces. I know that's a cold, cold, cold thing. Get in there and snuggle. So that's the crew. I'm not gonna spread them back out again. They're more comfortable to lay this way and they're all warm, so we'll pile you on top. So um, I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek. Oh, this one says, I like this. I'll just spread out. Um, at Buffy's litter. And like I said, please hold on. I don't want to let any of them go till we know that everybody is going to make it at least a week and nobody gets laid on. It's too big of a chance. If you are interested and you want on this list before people call in and say, I want this or this or this one, if it doesn't sell, please call me. Don't email me. Text me or call me. Otherwise, you will not get what you're looking for. Um, and I can't promise you anyway because I don't know how many people will be ahead of you. So, great litter. We got blue merles. We got chocolate merles. We've got party merles. We've got parties. We've got blacks. And we have an oddball that we think is going to maybe go silver or buff. So, have a great one. Have a safe week. I hope you enjoyed their video. And next week, um, probably Sunday or Monday, I'll put the new pictures on. And uh, tails will be off by then. They'll be sturdier, a little bit heavier. We'll do a new video. And... Uh, We'll go from there. So hope you enjoyed our video. We'll talk to you soon.